Another black Mustang, Fox body. It's a Scion FRS, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Small tire car, definitely built. Hoosier slicks, because who's your daddy? Sounds like a stroke small block. Ford. Hey! PT Cruiser! Stop! Just like a Ford, sliding sideways. You can build the mudder all you want. Doesn't change the fact it's still a Ford. Ooh. Another turbo small block. Ford Mustang 80s box body. Looks like going up against an S13. I know this thing was in the drift competition. I've seen it out drifting. Maybe I got some video of it. I don't know. Still going strong. Hey, there's that white Suvi that I've been seeing around town. This ought to be fun. Let's see what all wheel drives got. Stop sending it sideways! You're not Ken Block! against uh, 300C, hopefully Hemi, not a V6. Damn, he ought to hook. Yeah, that's a 5.7, all right. Power to weight ratio, that's what that is. There's one of those small... Damn, that thing's got a fat small block cam in it. There's that red Chevy that I've been looking at.
In the quarter that Hemi would have had that Miata. Go faster next time! White one smoked all the way through third. Already got one. Chopper had him up until about the 600 foot mark. And then that crotch rocket just came out of nowhere and zip past. Watch it, he's going to do it again. Up until about halfway down the track, that chopper's going to have him, and then that bike's going to come up out of nowhere. He, either that. Crotch rocket sandbagging, or that's all top end power. Probably scared, just probably afraid to let it all loose. Told you. Yeah, if that chopper had a turbo or a supercharger, it might actually be competitive. Because that thing's got a bitchin' amount of torque on low. Oh, yeah. Dark wins races. There's that seven. Especially for these, because this is what you need. You need to get going more than anything. Yeah, because it's only eighth mile. There's that Nova. Yeah, getting torque and then putting it down. That's all you Now, this Nova, this thing's going to be fast. It ain't going to be Purple A's fast, but I have seen it run before. Redneck showing up today. Don't tell me he's making a solo pass. He hit the rap limiter into third. That thing sounds mean. Probably some of these drift guys don't have the stones to come out here drag racing, right? I mean, fuck, I've seen a couple of those S14s with 500. Oh, I saw the legacy in the car show really. Yeah, I've seen a couple of those S14s, S13s with 500 horsepower LS motors. And I'm thinking, yeah. And I'm just at it like, dude, if you got a rear end that'll hold up to that and drifting, fucking come drag race. I just put a little bit of different tires on him on the drift tires. I mean, they're already on drip tires. Most I of them, see a lot of come out there, they put some fucking shit tires on there. Yeah, just to smoke. They can burn them out. Right? Yeah, and it's not that big of a loss. Even though it bogged down hard. You should have seen him when the jet car was here a couple months back. Oh shit. Yeah man, they have one of the couple of jet cars that are racing out there. That fucker was loud. I made the mistake of opening up my ears when it made its second pass <laughs> right before it hit the button. And that fucker, I swear, has damaged the microphone on my camera. Yeah, bro, that's just so loud, bro, man. I saw it. I went out to grab a snack because it was going to do two passes during the entire day. And I missed the second the first one coming in because I was on my way back from getting a snack. Oh, and so I you saw had it. to get the second one. For sure. Yeah, and I was right down there on the fence hanging on. Uh, Shit. Fuck, yeah, you're right there. In fuck, you know what pissed me off? I left my too. goddamn fucking um, pole back at the house, my tripod. says. Poor Mustang just doesn't have the violence that a Chevy V8 does. Not even a Hemi. It's like one of their fucking things is that they're smooth, but that's, that's good for driving as a, as a driver. But as far 
as drag racing. Yeah, the newer ones, ones, they got a flat plane crank in them. And the only reason they get that V8 sound is because they got different length headers. Right. Which, if you ask me, is a load of horse shit. It's like Subies, that's how they do it too. They get that cool sound. Yeah, but they don't even make that engine anymore, which is a real shame because that was probably one of the few it, uh, four cylinders I wouldn't go out of my way for. Boxers and flat four cylinders. Yeah, so I'd probably go with a boxer six just because boxer six. Exactly. I mean, flat's already good, and you put another two cylinders on there. Yeah, it's smooth it's as a shit. Force engine right there. Yeah, smooth as shit, flat power band. That's what you want when you're drag racing. Something that just climbs and climbs and climbs and climbs and climbs and climbs. It's a little darker. I think I'm gonna head down and get some footage from down where those fuckers are. Cause that's where you got a real loud exhaust note from. Did someone lose tranny fluid? Narrow by a mile. It wasn't even fair, was it? No, no, it wasn't. We're not even the same class. No, that, that Camaro's got to be making four or five hundred, and that sedan's making maybe three. Well, it's still got an LS whatever engine. Yeah. So my butt's I do, and then I'm like, did I just say that? Now, if only there were stands like this over there so we could watch the drift competition. So it looks like we got a Subi. Some kind. All wheel versus front wheels. Yeah, and light weight too. All wheel versus. Yeah, it's a Scion. It is a Scion. couple of feet, man, they matter so fucking much. <laughs> oh, looks like there's still some fun going on over there. <laughs> All right, so we got Green Chevy versus Yellow Ram once again. Last time that Chevy beat it. Let's see if the Ram can pull it back. Or let's see if the power to weight still keeps. Nice little smoky one. Top end, like he had VTEC or something. You also gotta have a lighter load. Black. Fox body ain't slow, but neither is that vet. That C4, I've seen him run before. He's definitely picked up some speed. Last time I saw him, he was a lot slower than he is now. Got a guy in front of mine with six seconds in the eighth mile. Six seconds in the eighth mile. In the eighth mile or quarter.
Consistent, you could actually yeah. go up half the lap. That's why friends of mine used to race El, El Caminos with big blocks and automatics. Really? And all they did was put the put the damn tailgate down, and that moved the transfer to weight back. And that, <laughs> they well, it's the probably something to do with the arrow too. But they ran the hell out of those, and they were successful with them. Oh, I'm sure. And big it, block anything is good. Except for, for a buddy of mine that had a knuckle, this knucklehead that this guy, that Lightning, we knew over in Baton Rouge. You know? Yeah. And he drag raced that thing for friggin' years at Baton Rouge Drag Strip. Yeah, yeah. And Yo, Firebird. Ape, hang, ape hangers, hand shift. Really? Fish tips, and he beat everybody. You know what he did? What? He rigged up a micro switch on the shifter, and when his hand hit the shifter, it kicked, killed the ignition. Left the throttle wide open. Run, bust the, bust the gear. And wow. it killed the ignition in a split second. And this was this was 50 years ago. Damn. And that little bit of energy draw that it saved got more power to the plug. Yeah, and kept the throttle wide open. Firebird. That's what I'm talking about. Oops, sorry. We got an Audi in there. It's uh, Lancer, that PT Cruiser again. I wonder if that's the one I've been trying to hunt down. Civic 17 or 18 Type R versus Evo 8 or 9. Come on, Evo! Stop! 
stop that Civic. That's what all-wheel drive looks like. This fucking destroyed. Okay, yeah, what's up, huh? Yeah, what's up? Super bold right in the, where the spot's at. Yeah. Right? Now, if only my boots weren't so tall, I could stick my feet under this. <laughs> Fuck this. I'm taking my boots off. I'm not going anywhere until sundown, so. Show off! Oh, he's got this. He's going to fucking launch on this. Fuck you, kid. I've seen extended. Pulled a wheelie twice. Wheelie and big. No, it's too Well, actually, it's better if you pull a wheelie because you're putting more tractive force down your rear wheel. True. He's He might have. He might have. Right. I had the brilliant foresight to go home to charge my battery, and I completely forgot my fucking tripod. Right? Civic hatch, black Civic hatch, rattle cam black versus Audi. Oh, this Civic's fucked. That Audi's going to destroy that Civic. I think he's just got a posse in his rear end. Yeah. They might have the same engine, but the power or weight difference matters a whole lot. Yeah, they got room back there. They can't do it down this straightaway. Well, from bridge to bridge is a quarter mile. Oh, so you have no time to break it. Yeah, exactly. But down here on Flying Fortress Strait, that's a half mile of just flat, straight road. Admittedly, not the best in the world, but you definitely have time to break. But no, that would cost too much insurance money. Well, not necessarily clean. You think maybe because of this, that would be going faster and shit? Oh, yeah, you kidding me? Quarter mile, you'd attract six second trucks. High tech redneck could actually top out and run out of gear. And that's one of the fastest vehicles I can there goes that Integra. Oh, that Integra's fucked. You know what? I take that back. I take that back that Ford might catch him at the very tail end, but only at the tail end because power to weight. That Ford's got to be what? 4,500 pounds at least? No matter if it's got fat tires or not. Away, bruh. That four got stomped by a fucking inboard front wheel drive, nonetheless. Dude, sounds like this. I wish I had my car together. Come out here, find out what I could do. Come out here, all I want. I got a slow car. I got a 9400 Accord. Yeah. I got to upgrade it. Maybe come out here. Actually, this isn't a legit track. So I'd probably be all right. Lost if I lost on a real track, I'd probably break a motor. Yeah. Now, me, I got an 85 to sell wagon, 4x4. Four four. Okay. Yeah. Kind of. That thing's fucking. That's got some potential. 
Uh, it's only a 63 horse Econo box. You're gonna have to switch the engine. Oh, absolutely. Drive line. Body all the time. No, it's not. It's four wheel drive, not all wheel drive. Primary bias to front wheels. Then you have to engage a lever to the rear. And they're not like clutched, so you can only use four wheel drive in low gear, which blows. But it does give me a rear axle to start with. I already got an engine lined up, I just need to find a fucking transmission or a right bell housing. Because fuck off that. <laughs> That's uh, pretty illegal. That station wagon's got about a mile. He needs to stop being so easy on it. He needs to fucking stomp on it, man. He can't get traction. Hey, he fucking hit red line real quick. Chopper's back up. Back against against that Cowie. I'm pretty sure that's a Kawasaki. Dude, you got curb stopped by an import. Why? You have to You have displacement on him. You have tires on him. You got stopped by that thing. Why? Hey, man. I know. <laughs> Brace car my ass. You got more horsepower. Hey, there's that Miata again. There's like two or three Miatas that come out here that are turbo projects like that. Sound. Uh, 
Mustang versus Mustang. Which pile of shit's gonna go faster? Let's find out. Colorboard. It's got extra 5,000 horsepower. You want a bet? That's why I'm saying if they open up a quarter mile. No. Oh shit, that's right. That's that viper I've been seeing. I've been wanting to see this. It's gonna be good. This is gonna be real good. I hate how this shirt is too small. Alright, so we got Elko versus Mustang. Is the Disgustang gonna win? Elko spawn! He broke something. by the way. Ooh, this sounds neat. Camaro versus Camaro. Fifth or sixth gen versus another fifth or sixth gen. Gen versus six gen. That's what I'm calling it. Maybe. They're still out there drifting. Fuck yeah. Built Subi against a Chinesium grade paint Camaro. All wheel drive, baby! This Beamer's gonna get curb stomped. That Viper makes at least five to the whole, to the tires, probably six. By at least two and a half car lengths. Sixth gen Camaro versus current generation Mustang. Let's see who wins. Hopefully my battery doesn't quit before it's over. Car and a car and a half lengths. This is what a Camaro is for. A small, vicious little animal that eats Mustangs. Turbo Mustang versus Turbo Fox Bunny. Holy shit, in the quarter mile, that would have been a neck and neck race. Fuck yeah! That's that black Corvette going up against what looks like a, that green Mustang. Pit side lane. Mustang took it. Motherfucker rooster tail on that thing hard. Lots of smoke. They still doing tandems? They stopped? Tandems are all the way No, I was wondering if they're still doing.
Bro, you get some good skirt skirts out there in the beer can? What's up? You get some good skirt skirts in the beer can? <laughs> you know it. Fuck yeah, bud. I'm telling you, brother, you should register. All right, so this is a little outro monologue. Uh, the gentleman in the cream-ish color uh, S13 with the SR20 that you see at the start of this series. His name is Adam. He's apparently a badass from Orlando Speed World OSW. And ultimately, at the end of the day, I tried so hard. I really, really tried so hard to get pitchers at the end of the event. He ended up taking the drift competition for overall or tandems. No, it was tandems. There were four finalists. Um, he did a better job uh, leading and following with his tandem. And the other team took second because the way it's set up is that you have basically a free-for-all four-on-four, four, but then you're paired up in pairs of two. So you're going against your pair as well as going against, as a team, the other pair. And the best overall drifter, whoever can lead and follow better than their lead, whoever can follow better than their leader and lead better than their follower uh, usually takes it. That's the way I came to understand it. I'm not entirely sure if that's 100% accurate, but needless to say, that's the gist of the situation. And I'm just reusing some stock footage from earlier on in the series. Um, this has been the Drift and Drags vlog from uh, Sebring International Raceway. I hope to see you next time and peace out. Hopefully, all hell doesn't break loose with me financially because I'm really open to make this... Uh, a career on the side so i'm gonna be looking into getting a patreon set up and uh, from there maybe you guys can figure out a way to support me because youtube is currently still reeling from the adpocalypse but until then i'll see you next time peace